winning a gold medal for me was the catalyst for becoming an advocate. I was like, great, I have this platform. What can I do that's actually meaningful and important? And what could be more meaningful and important than trying my very best to help protect this planet? I've always been really passionate about being outdoors and sharing it with other people in my life. Growing up in Minnesota, you get outside and you enjoy winter sports. We're so connected to snow, like we, we need it in order to do these sports that we love and to share them with the next generations. We've seen climate change firsthand, you know, as I like to say that as skiers, we're kind of the canaries in the coal mine because we're seeing it first. What's been really uh, terrifying for me is seeing places like Rovaniemi, Finland, which is on the Arctic Circle. The whole town is based on winter tourism. But the last time we were there, it was melting. It was not what it was supposed to be like in a place that could always count on natural snowfall in the past years, which is why we were there training. Um, and that was a really scary wake up for me because you know, I'd always known climate change is a problem, it's real, I, I believe the science, of course, but to see firsthand, you know, someplace like the Arctic Circle, which you would assume would be safe, to see it melting was really, really scary. Right after 2018, um, I took my gold medal with me to DC. I joined Protect Our Winners and talked about climate change and tried to keep that conversation at the forefront. It's scary to me, like what that's gonna do for people and all the ripple effects of climate change because it's, it's not just about snow. Now I'm also a board member for Protect Our Winners. So it's been very, very cool. I've been learning a lot. I've been learning how to use my voice. I always try to race with a lot of courage. And for me, this it really stems from the desire to cross the finish line with nothing left. You know, that's always my thing is I want to cross that finish line and I want to be so tired that it can't even stand up so that I know in my heart I gave everything I had towards my very best effort. I think the same thing applies to climate change, you know, like I think we can all go forward with courage and do our very best effort so that you know, we know that we have tried everything we can. And so when I talk to lawmakers in DC, it's important to say like, I, I know this is tough. I know it's challenging, um, but I think it's important to make sure we're giving our very best effort and to really honestly go forward with every ounce of energy that we have. And because I, I just don't want to look back and have regrets. It's important that when it comes to climate change, we make sure we are doing our best.